Hello. How are you? I hope you are having a wonderful day. Wonderful moment. Why is my hair crazy? Big surprise, toothpaste stains. You know I come here just being me. I have some messages for y'all. Collective. Who will watch this? That's the intention. Who will listen? These are the messages that came through for you, okay? One, I feel like there's a lot of you who have gotten clarity from the lunar eclipse that happened in Sagittarius on the 26th and then the solar eclipse that happened, solar new moon eclipse in Gemini that happened literally yesterday. So it's like you know what you need to do now. There's an undeniable calling of what you need to do now. There's two, there's two different groups here. One, it's like you know what you need to do, and so you got so you're so excited about the potential of what can be that you're becoming impatient and restless. And Spirit wants to remind you that if it's meant for you, if it's destined for you, it will undoubtedly happen as long as you listen to the guidance in your heart. But you also need to recognize that things happen in divine timing. So it will happen for you if it's destined for you, but it will happen when it's meant to. So just focus on remembering that when you start to get impatient and remembering that it's brick by brick, baby step by baby step, okay? And then there's another group of people where we have divine guidance. So y'all got the guidance, you got the call, it knocked on your heart and you know like, shit, I gotta do this or I gotta do that, I gotta remove this or I gotta change that. It could be a mindset, it could be a way of living, it could be people, job, situation, whatever. You got clarity on it, divine guidance, that's what this is showing up for. And then we have the decision card. The two of these together, you got the guidance, you know what decision to make. You know what decision to make. And you need to release yourself from what holds you back, okay? A lot of people are feeling not confident enough to make a decision. This is your reminder that a lot of the time confidence actually comes from after we make a decision. Confidence comes from, wow, I showed up and I did that presentation even when I was scared and it went better than I thought. Boom, there you go. That gives you a little token in your mind where it's like, I can do things. You were scared to go out with your friends. You went, you had a good time. Another token. You feel more confident in your abilities. But if you never practice your abilities, how are you going to build that confidence? So listen to your heart. Listen to the guidance it's giving you. You know what decision to make. You do. You do. Stop listening to what other people say. It's between you and the universe. Nobody else. Knight of Michael, Knight of Swords, says move fucking quickly. It's like, listen, you know what to do. You know what to do. And if you think you don't know what to do, you're probably not creating enough time to be quiet. And actually listen to the inner inner call. It's not going to be from a video. It's not going to be from a book. It's it's going to be from inside. You really have to have to allow yourself to cultivate the space to hear that. And it's going to a lot of the time guidance comes through as in it's the decision that makes you feel like you're free. And whatever decision makes you feel like you're stuck, that's not the one for you. It's not because the universe doesn't want you to feel and live in, in a box. It wants you to be expansive, to, to love life. See, it's going to take strength to, to really move forward with this decision. But you need to do this. Listen, we got the lover's card, which talks about literally a decision of the heart. If you don't invest in yourself now by making the right decision, you will undoubtedly regret it. I'm saying right decision, like right decision. Again, not that there's a right or wrong decision. There is a decision. There's going to be, there's two crossroads. One's going to make you feel expansive. One's going to make you feel contracted. Always go for the expansive. You are supposed to evolve. Your soul wants to evolve, okay? <coughs> Bernie wants to say something, apparently. Three of Ariel is reminding you to do what you love, okay? That's why we make the decision based on what makes us feel more expansive. The universe wants you to feel good, okay? We have nine of Gabriel. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared Be prepared for any possibility. So really open your mind up to, to recognize that this is actually like a an initiation phase of you trying to... It's the dog for me. I don't know if y'all can hear him, but 
We'll just let him be. This is an initiation phase. Why is he? Anybody else his dog like this? Probably everybody's. <laughs> this is an initiation phase. Initiation phase. Okay. You want to exactly the action movement needed. You got to commit. You got to commit. A lot of the suffering comes from not committing or half committing to multiple things. So your energy is so dispersed that you can't actually fully be in something. The universe is saying, listen, bro, listen to the passion. What makes you feel more expansive? Go that way. Stop doubting it. Stop using your mind to think about it. It's not a thought process about figuring out what it feels like our soul resonance. It's not. It's a feeling. Balance, balance is needed in higher realms. This means that you don't understand exactly how things are orchestrating behind the scenes, but that your higher self and the universe is always fucking betting for you. If you have to release something and it really fucking hurts, know that that is temporary for something better to come by. Duality is also here for one, balance, but also two, recognizing that you can feel a whole different ways about one situation. You don't just have to feel good about it. You don't just have to feel bad about it. You can feel angry, excited, sad, excuse me, mad all at the same time. And that it's still perfectly fine. It's still perfectly fine. I mentioned before the second message was like, be still with yourself and prioritize your peace. That is how you are honestly going to be able to know what is for you and what isn't. There is this other message of existing within the body. I feel like a lot of times when we feel incapable or a little not confident, it's because we exist so much in in the mental realm and that's kind of like off your body a little. And there is this deep need for people to come back into their body. A lot of people feel like I don't like earth, for example, or they, they just have a knowing that their souls are not from here. They don't understand the violence, stuff like that. One, you're not alone. Two, you came here for a reason and you are in a body. This is your vessel. So the duality balance needed can also be like balancing your soul and your body. You work together. These are the tools that you have, right? You need, in order to take action and do things, we need our body. We do. Let's see here. Any other messages for the collective today? We have recovery. So allow yourself, if you're feeling exhausted right now, if you're feeling confused, allow yourself to just take care of yourself fully. Easy does it at the bottom here. That's what I said in the beginning. Like, it's not a fucking race. It's not a fucking race. You don't have to hurry and scurry, scurry to get what you, what you think you need to get done, like, all at once. Divine timing. Divine timing. God doesn't rush. Like, at all. We have detoxification as well. Really, it's time to let go of the things that no longer serve you. And I know you fucking know. I know you know. And if you don't know, like I said before, it's because you are not cultivating enough quiet time with yourself. It's because you're disconnected from your body. Come back to your body. Cultivate that first. If you want to make a beautiful life for yourself, it starts from within. You have good night's sleep. A lot of you guys are definitely feeling exhausted right now. Recovery, good night's sleep, and easy does it. Focus on yourself, okay? Focus on yourself. And from there, you can slowly choose the things that make you feel like passionate and alive. Do more research is kind of making me think that there's some of you who don't really understand what exactly it is you're supposed to be doing. And I want you to know that you will know what you're supposed to be doing exactly when you need to know. Again, we're coming back to divine timing. The universe doesn't just chuck you out here and say, okay, good luck. No, you can talk to your soul. Maybe that's what it is. Do more research. Spend more time talking to your angels, guys, your soul. Let's see what's at the bottom here. We have sunlight. Yeah, there's a deep need to just take care of our, ourselves. Fresh air. And diet is important here. Definitely need to take care of things like when it comes to our physical body today. Or just now in general. Hello. Go back in. Thank you. Let's see one more card for the collective. One more card for the collective. Oh my god. Okay. So we have a call of the muse. 
These are beautiful cards. And Divine Matrix. This is like, don't get stuck in the fucking matrix. Don't get stuck in the loop of produce, produce, produce. From your mind. It's, it's a deep need for us to just drop into our heart. That's where your muse is. It's, it's the creativity. It's the flow. It's the, I want to do this, so I'm just going to go. I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to commit. I'm just going to fucking leap. Take the fucking leap and know that it is what it is. You can't change what's already happened. Well, you can't change how you feel. You can change what you think about it, though. There's endless possibilities and a tall tale. This is making me think that... Endless possibilities. There's a need for people to to open their mind, to realize that a lot of what's happening, we don't actually know. And you're not supposed to know. <clears throat> this one, I think, okay, learning to communicate from a place of authenticity, as well as not allowing the fear of what others will think to influence your words. Exactly. You, there's this need for everybody to just come back to themselves. Come back to themselves and realize that I am my guide. My connection to the universe is what is supporting me through this entire life. You die alone in your own body. This is why it sounds morbid, but it's just, it's true. That is the most important relationship that you will ever have is with yourself and with the universe because that is your guide. That's what speaks to you through your heart. So spend time getting to know yourself, getting to know your body, getting to know how energy moves through you, getting to know what makes you feel good. And let that be enough. Let that be enough. I love you.